With a staff of 20 health officers and two drivers at the Quirkula Health Center and no specialized doctor, the health center is the biggest in the Rigo district. But the health center, which was built by the Korea International Cooperation Agency, or COICA, is showing signs of deterioration. Three doctors' houses, also built by COICA, have not been occupied since the construction because there are no doctors to occupy them. The health center is apparently built over a waterlogged area which sees rainwater seeping through the tile floor to patients sleeping in the wards. Untreated wood used to build a dozen cupboards have been broken off. Biggest issue because even this, it's a government run institution, we normally find it very hard to provide our services to the rural majority. That's what the government is saying, but to go to the rural majority with the new uh, this healthcare policy, free healthcare policy, we are really finding it hard when. Malona said the government health funds that they get are not enough for, to fully utilize for renovations, and the funds that they recently got was used in the polio vaccination exercise. He also urges the neighboring villages and districts to get parents and guidance to bring the children in for polio vaccinations. Our round four polio program will be on next year, sometimes in February. That's number one. Number two will be the bed netting program. Mr. Malona's Christmas message to the travelers along the Maggie Highway and in the districts of Rico and Abao is to be safe while on the highway. So I urge everybody who is driving along along the Maggie Highway or whatever destinations you are heading, please be mindful and be safe with your family when you're driving home. Meaning be very cautious about drinking and driving because it might cause some accidents. Tamara Pia Agave, National MTV News.